Okay, when I tell you that this pineapple cake is literally the best I have ever had, I honestly mean it. It's made up of super soft pineapple cake layers that are so, so easy to make, which are then filled with a pineapple filling and topped with a pineapple whipped cream frosting. Doesn't that just sound insanely good? So we're going to start off with our cake layers. So you want to preheat your oven to 160C or 320F with the fan turned on, also known as convection mode, and grease the bottom and sides of of two 8 inch cake tins and you want to line the bottom as well. As always I'm using my homemade cake release to grease my tins, it works so so incredibly well. Okay now you just want to set your cake tins aside for now and next we're going to sift together our dry ingredients. So I've got 270 grams or two and a quarter cups of plain all-purpose flour, 25 grams or a quarter cup of cornstarch, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. And then using a whisk, you just wanna mix that all together until it's well combined. Now you just wanna set that aside for now. And next in a large bowl, combine 250 grams or one and a quarter cups of white granulated sugar, three large room temperature eggs, 160 grams or three quarters of a cup of unflavored vegetable oil, I use canola oil, 566 grams or two and a half cups of canned crushed pineapple with the pineapple juice. So you wanna be using a canned pineapple that's in pineapple juice and not a syrup, otherwise it might be too sweet. And then you also wanna add in one teaspoon of vanilla and one and a half tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. And then using a clean whisk, you just wanna mix that all together until it's well combined. Now to finish off, you just want to add in the pre-mixed dry ingredients from earlier into the wet ingredients. And then using a spatula, you just want to gently fold that in until it's just combined. You don't want to overmix the batter, so only mix until it's nice and uniform and you can't see any more streaks of unmixed flour. Okay, so that is our batter all done. So, so easy. And now you just want to evenly distribute it into our two pre-prepared cake tins. Once that's done, give your cake tins a light bang on the counter to remove any large air bubbles and now these are going to go into the oven for 30 to 33 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. So my cakes are out of the oven now, they smell so 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 good. They've been cooling in the cake tins for about 20 minutes just to allow them to firm up a little. And now I'm just running a thin knife around the edges to release the cakes from the cake tins and turning them out onto a wire rack to completely cool. These pineapple cake layers are honestly so, so incredibly soft. You guys are going to love them. Now, while these cakes are cooling, we're gonna go ahead and make our super easy pineapple cake filling. So to a saucepan, add in 170 grams or three quarters of a cup of canned crushed pineapple with the pineapple juice in it, 50 grams or a quarter cup of white granulated sugar, 25 grams or a quarter cup of cornstarch, 175 grams or three quarters of a cup of full fat milk, and one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Give that a good mix and then place it over a medium heat and keep stirring continuously until the mixture heats up and thickens in consistency. Now, as it's heating up, it may seem like the mixture is curdling, but don't worry, just keep mixing. It'll come together once the cornstarch is activated. Now, once it's thick like this, take it off the heat immediately and add in 56 grams or a quarter cup of cold unsalted butter. And an optional step is to also add in a teeny tiny drop of yellow gel food coloring just to amp up the color of our pineapple filling. And then you just wanna mix that in until the butter is completely melted and incorporated. Okay, so that is our pineapple filling all done and now you just wanna transfer this to another bowl to completely cool and thicken up further. It will also develop more of a pineapple flavor as it cools. Now, once the cake layers and the pineapple filling have come to room temperature, then the last thing to make is our pineapple whipped cream frosting. Again, this is super easy to make, so to a bowl add in 225 grams or one cup of cold mascarpone, 55 grams or half a cup of icing sugar, also known as powdered or confectioner's sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then using a hand or stand mixer on a low speed, mix that in until everything is well combined. 
Next, add in 335 grams or one and a half cups of cold whipping cream, and then using your hand or stand mixer, first mix it on a low speed, just to allow everything to combine without the cream splattering everywhere, and then turn the mixer up to a medium high and whip until you reach stiff peaks. Just keep a careful eye on the frosting as you don't want to over whip the cream. Now once that's done, you just want to get all of that cream off of your attachments because the last bit of mixing is going to be done by hand. So the last step is to add in 112 grams or half a cup of canned crushed pineapple, but with the excess pineapple juice removed. Now the way that I like to do this is to simply place the crushed pineapple into a sieve and then using a spoon, gently push the pineapple down to get rid of any excess liquid. Now we still want the pineapples to be juicy and chunky, so don't push them down too hard we just want to get rid of some of that extra juice. And then once that's done, add 112 grams or half a cup of the crushed pineapple to the whipped cream. And then using a spatula, just gently fold that in until it's just combined. Okay, and that is all done. Our pineapple whipped cream frosting is ready to go. So to assemble this cake, I like to start off by trimming off the caramelized edges on the tops, bottoms, and sides of my cake layers, but this is totally optional and is purely for aesthetic purposes. I also level off the tops of the cake layers to make sure that my cake layers are nice and flat, and this step I would recommend doing, especially if your cakes have quite a bit of a dome on the top. Once that's done, I'm placing my first cake layer onto my cake stand and spreading out a generous amount of the pineapple whipped cream frosting. Once that's done, I'm placing some of the frosting into a piping bag with a 1A large round tip on it, and then I'm piping a dam of frosting around the top edges of the cake layer. And this is just going to help prevent our filling from seeping out the sides of the cake. Next, I'm filling the center with half of the pineapple cake filling and spreading it out so it's nice and even. Then my next cake layer goes on top, and then I'm covering the top and sides of the cake with more whipped cream frosting. I also like to use a cake scraper to smooth out the sides, and then I also also use my offset spatula to bring that top lip of frosting into the middle of the cake so that I have smooth edges. Once that's done, I'm using the remaining frosting to pipe a border around the top edges of the cake, and again I'm just using the same 1A piping tip, and then to finish off I'm just filling the middle with the remaining pineapple filling. And then that is it, my pineapple cake is all done. Now if you love pineapple cake, this is honestly the pineapple cake of your dreams. It is so so soft and light and packed with pineapple throughout the cake. Mmm. Mmm. It is so, so yummy. The cake layers are so, so incredibly soft, and I really love that you get like a little chunk of pineapple in every bite. And that pineapple filling really helps to bring out that pineapple flavor in this cake. It's just, it all just works together so well. So that is it, guys. If you do decide to give this pineapple cake a go, then please do leave a review on my blog. It really helps my content out, and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. I'll see you in the next video.